Hi there, my name is Vicky and I'm here with a new series on the Docker. In this Docker series or tutorial, you will learn from the basic to advanced level. This Docker series is further divided into chapters. So if you want, you can follow along step by step in order to get deep knowledge on the Docker. Here are the list of topics which I'm going to cover in this series. We'll start with the installation on the Docker on the Linux or Ubuntu machine. Then we will talk about the permission, understanding the architecture of the Docker. After that, we will do demos related to the Docker file and in the Docker file, we are going to cover all the keywords like the copy keyword, add keyword, work DIR environment. These things we are going to cover with the demo. And in the last, I'm also going to create a shell script where I'm going to delete all the unused containers and images with that script. Now, if you are here for the first time, then do subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon so that you will get notified of the latest videos. Seven in the Docker series. What we are going to learn is how to work with a work DIR. In the previous chapter, we have learned like how to create a Docker file. And while creating a Docker file, there is a keyword that is a work DIR. So in this video, we are going to learn with example, how exactly this keyword work DIR work in Docker file. So for that, let me go to my machine. I already logged in here and my Docker is already installed. And my user EC2 has all the permission to run all the Docker command. Now here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder. So let me create a folder. Docker work dir example now let me go inside this docker work dir i'm inside this folder there is nothing as of now let me create a docker file here so sudo nano docker file now in this file i'm going to start with from parameter and i'm going to take Ubuntu as a base operating system and the version is 18.04 and after that I'm going to use the run command that is mkdir project and run touch file dot txt now this is the content of my docker file now let me save this and create an image from this docker file as of now if i'm going to run the command docker images there is no image and let me also run docker container ls there is no container running so i have a docker file here and the content of this docker file is this three steps are here from ubuntu second one is to run or create a directory with the name project and after that create a file with the name file.txt so these three step my container is going to do but before running a container i need to create an image from this docker file so how to create a image docker build minus t t is for tagging here that means i need to give name example one and then i need to specify the location of my docker file as of now, I am in the same folder where my docker file is. So I will go with the dot option. Okay. Docker, D-U-C-E-B-U-I-L. Sorry, the spelling is not correct. I am so sorry. Docker build minus T example and this. Invalid reference format. So that means there is some something not correct in my docker file. So let me correct that thing. Sudo nano docker file. Let me see. Oh, yes. See, here is the problem. 18.04. That is the problem. Okay. Now, let me go with the same command. Now, it is running three step from Ubuntu. That is the first step. That is it pulling it from the Docker hub. Second step. That is to create a project directory. And the third step. Create a file with the name file.txt now let me do docker container 
कंटेनर एल एस माइनस ई आम सो सॉरी आई हैव नॉट क्रिएटेड ए कंटेनर आई हैव जस्ट क्रिएटेड ए इमेज सो डॉकर इमेजेस आई हैव दिस इमेज दैट इज एग्जाम्पल वन एंड बेस ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम ओबन टू एटीन पॉइंट जीरो फोर नाउ लेट मी क्रिएट ए कंटेनर फ्रॉम दिस थिंग डॉकर कंटेनर रन माइनस आई टी डी आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू यूज द डी डी इज टू रन द कंटेनर इन द बैकग्राउंड आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू डू दैट सो आई टी माइनस माइनस नेम आई विल गिव एग्जाम्पल वन फॉर दिस एंड देन द इमेज नेम एंड द इमेज नेम आई हैव दैट इज एग्जाम्पल वन now i have not used here the d parameter so i directly logged in to my container now let's see ls here i can see the project folder let me go inside the project folder and let me do ls there is nothing inside the project folder let me come out of this thing do the ls one more time and file.txt here right so i have used the run command let, let me go back Let me scroll up a bit. Scroll up. Okay, I think now cat docker file. Now here, if we see run mkdir project run touch file. So these are two separate commands, right? But my requirement is little bit different. My requirement here is I need to run. this command and i need to create a file inside this project folder or rather i would say when i'm going to log into my container i directly need to logged into this folder now how i can do that here work dir is going to help me so let me go to my docker file okay now here i'm going to add work dir keyword and then the same command mkdir i'm not going to use mkdir here i'm just going to use project here okay now let me see cat docker file yes i have my file updated now here i have used work dir then project then done touch docker file okay now let me create a image from this so how to create a image docker build minus t this is going to be example 2 and in the last we need to this okay. done docker images now i have a example 2 image here what i need to do i need to create a container from this thing so the command is docker container run minus it minus minus name i'm going to use name is going to be example 2 and then i need to specify the image that is example 2 i logged in see i logged in directly to the project directory and if i'm going to do ls here file dot txt created here not in the root directory see here i am in the root directory there is no file with the name file dot txt file dot txt created inside the project folder right so that is the work dir now work dir help me to create file inside that specified directory there is one more thing to notice here i have not given the command like mkdir to create a directory i have just give the command that is project so work dir keyword created that directory for me if the directory is already there it is not going to remove that directory or not going to take any action it is just going to go, it is it will just go to the next command it will skip that command if there is no folder no directory with that name it is going to create a directory over there okay now let's work with this with a real world example let me come out of this container okay now ls for that what i am going to do is i will go to the sample application this is the docker documentation here we have a sample application 
and here we have the steps how to run this application and if we go step by step it says like we can download the content from here let me open this one this is a git repository and I can clone this repository to my local folder and after that what I need to do is I need to go to this package.json okay here I need to go and after that what I need to do is I need to create a docker file in the same folder where I have the package.json with this content and after that I need to build image from that then I need to start my container oh okay let's do that so the first thing first I need to download this content so I need to download this thing from the git repository so let me do that let me clone this let me copy so here I am in my local local machine let me do ls docker file is here let me come out of this I am going to create one directory git example cd git now here git clone and then if you get any error message like the git okay cloning remote remote done okay done if you get any error message like git is not installed so first you need to install the git and the command for that is sudo yum install git minus y if you are on the linux operating system then this is the command you need to run if you don't have the git install if you have the git install then you can easily run this command so let me see i have this getting started folder here let me go inside this let me do ls so here i have couple of files so where i need to go let me see from here okay you should you should see the package dot json so we need to go package dot json i think it's in app folder yes it's here package dot json let me cat this thing okay we have the content here for this now the next step is says create a file with the name docker in the same direct in the same folder as package.json okay let me copy this thing now here i need to create one file with the name docker file here i need to enter the content so this one is from node and it is going to run this command work dir app so what it is going to do is if this folder is not created it is going to create that folder and after that it is going to copy all the things which is there in my local machine to this container and after that it is going to expose this thing on port 3000 great let me save this thing now i need to build image from this before building the image let me go and check what all images we have we have ubuntu example 1 and example 2 great now let me do that so it is going to run seven steps so if we count here we have seven steps first okay. first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh seven steps we have here so it is following the seven step see step number three work dir app after that it is copying all the content after that step fifth is it is installing something there we have the warning message as well we are just going to ignore it because this is a sample application i'm just going with the documentation of the docker so let's see if it is work or not so now docker images now here we have one image with getting started and also node 12 dash alpine great now the next thing is I need to run the container let me copy this thing paste it here now docker run minus dp p is for the port number 3000 this is going to be the container port and this is going to be the host port and the image name is getting started from here okay now let me enter it's in running state docker container ls yes we have one container in the running state that is on the port number 3000 let's verify this thing i need to go to my aws console i need to select my machine i need to grab the public ip and one more thing in the security group 
let me click on this i have opened all the port so all tcp is open right now let me go let me enter the public ip and 3000 yes it's running see it's running so iphone let me type add yes it's running the container is running absolutely fine right after a few seconds, open your browser HTTP local 1000, 3000 and you can see this. No item yet, you are almost done. So, we are also getting the same thing. Great. So, this is how we can work with the keyword that is work DIR. If you like this video, do subscribe my channel.